understand why teachers don't let kids eat in class. I just, I don't, I just don't get it. Hey, it's Lindsay Ray and welcome back to my channel. What's poppin', son? Today I am here because I'm gonna be doing a DIY edible crayon video. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't think there's any real purpose for these crayons. I've also never seen anyone else do it, so the instructions aren't going to be perfect. So I guess this is an inspiration combination of like RCL Beauty and that DIY group with a little Lindsay flair. Also, I really like crayons. So if you guys want me to do another DIY, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if there are enough thumbs up, I will try to do something else that's giant and edible, something along those lines. Also, I want to let you guys know that I am doing a huge back to school giveaway right now. So let me know if you're interested in entering that giveaway by giving this video a big thumbs up. And make sure that you check out the description bar below for how to enter all the details, etc, etc. Comment below whether you think I'm going to pass or fail at this. And without further ado, let's make some giant crayons. Ow. So here are the ingredients I predicted might make a giant crayon. Fondant, I got parchment paper, scissors, a knife, and black paint. So I got this fondant from Amazon. I got all the four primary colors, just like crayons. I started off with blue, so I put the other ones to the side, and I kind of broke it up and squished it together. Kind of started like rolling it, kneading it, trying to make it look less lumpy and like weird. I didn't have a rolling pin, so Hey, look at that, a lightsaber, how convenient. Something everyone has in their homes, I'm sure. Once you're done rolling that out, just kind of shape it into a crayon, so rounded and then a little point at the top. Next, you're gonna take your parchment paper and measure it out so it's gonna be that wrapping paper that's on crayons that says like crayon or blue, whatever, Crayola, what have you. Then you wrap it around, secure it by tucking it into the crayon, like the seam in the back, you can kind of fold it in, as you can see. And then you can take your paint and start painting the crayon. Now I just put two stripes on the end, like crayons usually have, and then I just decided to write blue in the middle, and it came out quite dandy, if I do say so myself. Putting the finishing touches on the paint, I just finished it off with a circle around the blue. Again. You know, I'm not a pro at making these giant edible crayons, but hey, they are edible and they are giant. Look at that, how beautiful is that? Or like how beautiful is that, am I right? Hey. <laughs> then I repeated the process with the other colors. As you can see, I just went straight for the lightsaber this time. Shaping, cutting, and then also painting. You can't eat the paint or the parchment paper, but you can eat the actual edible crayon. I wouldn't eat all of it, wouldn't suggest it, but uh, yeah, technically you can eat it. Oh, you can't write with it, but you can eat it. And there you go, you got your edible crayons, wow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you want to enter the giveaway slash if you want me to do more. I just wanna say thanks for being a friend. Bye guys.